Hey guys, this is Witcher, and I am introducing the second part of my series, Loading the Dice for Your Victory. So, this section is about the Black Knight Halberd. Now, the reason the series is called Loading Your Dice for Victory is because I believe players should have the easiest time, or even the most fun time. So, having a powerful weapon is part of that. Um, even for new players and experienced players, it's both good to have. As you can see here, I did die because my controller disconnected, so I cut that part out. So, But I just went and got my souls back. I did die because my controller died and he beat the shit out of me. But we've got Patris now. We got this dick. And if you're a faith character, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Um, so just leave him alone. But the reason I kill him is he drops two free humanity and he's a relatively easy uh, NPC to fight slash parry or kill. And right now, I, I have a lot of issues actually parrying that... R2, a lot of people don't have issues with it, but for some reason, it's just deceptively slow, like, you'd think, oh, slow, easier to parry, but no, it's almost deceptive how slow it is, and it just makes it hard for me to, uh, parry it, but I tighten them up here. So, most of this run is pretty normal, most speedrunners do it, Black Knight Halberd is one of the most powerful weapons in the game, in my opinion. It can carry through the entire game, no issues. You shouldn't have any issue with any enemy, pretty much. It will just pretty much destroy everything, especially, no. you should know this, if you happen to be watching my playthrough, that it just, just it fucking levels everything on the playing field. Everything just gets destroyed. It's an amazing weapon. Um, you can speed run this pretty fast. It doesn't take long at all. If you don't kill... Uh, Patriots there, it takes even less time. You can do it in less than my, the length of my video. I think the length of my video is about five minutes. You can do it in three if you really speed run it. Uh, and you don't kill that fucker because that guy takes up a good minute or more, maybe even almost two minutes killing him. But I always do it because I don't want to go back and do that shit again. So the extra 16 item discovery definitely helps me. Pro tip here, pop your humanity on the elevator, increases speed and uh, increases efficiency. Choice drink as of now, unsweetened black tea. I like tea, it's my favorite thing to drink. Coffee's okay, but sweetened tea is okay, but unsweetened tea is my favorite. Uh, I like green tea and black tea. My favorite green tea is Genmaicha, which is... Uh, roasted rice tea and it of course originated in Asia but it's really delicious uh, if you go to Asian restaurants like for tabanyaki or hibachi or sushi usually uh, it's that's the kind of tea you'll get if you ask for green tea it's the most common but it's a uh, really delicious especially if you've ever tried it so here I just go ahead and pick that up this is done on a character that is just out of the asylum, put two points into endurance. This character is only level seven. This is the character I used for the previous video, which is uh, the Gravelord Sword. And so this is totally obtainable, even without me going and getting the Gravelord Sword. I'm still level seven. It's like being out of the asylum and only putting two points into something. You can run down and get this. It's really easy. Now, for this weapon to be one-handed, you need 22 strength and 18 dexterity to one hand or to two-handed effectively. And at 32 strength, you can one-hand it. So it's really powerful. When you two-hand it, it pretty much destroys everything. And uh, I think you, on a warrior, it's either a warrior or a pyromancer. I think a warrior, you have to be level 21. If you put all stats into strength and uh, dexterity, 22 strength and 18 dexterity, I think you'll be level 21. So you can two-hand it at level 21, as long as you don't use it any other sections. I pop that just to have the extra stats, because if you come this way and you do this, you'll have that soul. So I don't feel like I'm cheating by using that. And I come up here to the bonfire, and it's nice, because if you fuck up on this night, well, there's a bonfire right here, so you can uh, just try it again. Sorry for the gaps in audio, I just don't think you guys need to hear me drink tea, so I just mute it when I take a drink. So, I went ahead and upgraded my strength so I could to hand it, and this is kind of cheating. I can easily kill this asshole with the um, longsword, but if you uh, have done the first part of this, you'll have this, so you can just fuck him up good. Watch this. Get the first parry, two-hand it, just fucking Gravelord Sword to the thigh. And 
Just turn around him, go around, get the backstab. You can also, if you stand over there to my left, you can get him to jump off the cliff. And Black Knight Halberd drop, plus you get a blue chunk. And down here is the Grass Crest Shield, which is a really amazing shield. So, the Grass Crest Shield and the Black Knight Halberd will pretty much carry you through the rest of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share with your buddies. Peace. Hey guys, this is Witcher, and I'm sorry for not showing the stats at the end of that clip, so I'm showing you the stats on a separate character. The Black Knight Halberd requires 30, sorry, 32 strength to one-hand it and 18 dex, 22 strength and 18 dex to two-hand it, and actually, this is really amazing because if you have a warrior starter class and you only put the stats needed to two-hand it, you can actually two-hand the weapon at level 18, so it makes the weapon very powerful. And I'm showing this to you on another character. I forgot to show it in the previous clip, but there's the grass shield as well. It has high fire defense, but not 100% physical defense. I hope this helped you guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Peace. Check out the stats and pause it if you need to. Hey guys, this is Witcher. Please remember to rate, comment, and share. Constructive feedback is always wanted. If you're feeling great today, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit in that annotation there. If you're feeling a little braver, Please follow me on Twitter for updates. If you're feeling the bravest of all warriors, follow me on Facebook. It helps me out a lot. And remember, stay fresh, brothers and sisters of Dark Souls.